Starting with very basic and important question what are CPPs in batch processing in pharmaceutical industry. CPP is an, a process parameter whose variability has an impact on a CQA and therefore should be monitored or controlled to ensure the process produces the desired quality. Examples are temperature during drying or sterilization, mixing speed during formulation and pressure during tablet compression. Reference ICHQ8R2. What are CQAs in batch processing in pharmaceutical industry? CQA is a physical, chemical, biological or microbiological property or characteristic that should be within an appropriate limit, range or distribution to ensure the desired product quality. Some examples are chemical properties like the potency or concentration of active ingredient, microbial properties like the absence of harmful microorganisms, Reference guideline ICHQ8R2. Very important question what is the relationship between CPP and CQA in pharmaceutical processing? CPP that is critical process parameters are managed to achieve the desired CQAs that is critical quality attributes. CQAs are the outcomes of controlling CPPs effectively. What is basic difference between CPP and CQA in pharmaceutical industry? You can refer below table to differentiate between CPP and CQA in pharma industry. The key difference is critical process parameters are key process conditions that need to be controlled to ensure product quality whereas CQAs are key product characteristics that must meet specific limits to ensure quality. Critical process parameters focus on manufacturing process controls whereas CQAs are focusing on final product quality. What happens if CPPs are not controlled? If CPPs are not controlled, it can cause deviations in key process parameters. It can lead to inconsistent product properties. It can cause variations in result in CQAs and it can cause the product failure. How do you determine CPPs during process development? CPPs are identified by understanding the relationship between process variables and the CQAs using techniques like design of experiment that is DOE, reference guideline ICHQ8R2. What is the role of quality by design that is QBD in controlling CPPs and CQAs? QBD emphasizes or focuses on designing a robust process that ensure consistent product quality by identifying and controlling CPPs and CQAs from the beginning. Reference guideline ICHQ8R2. What are the important CPPs in tablet manufacturing process? The important CPPs in tablet manufacturing process are accuracy of weighing, particle size distribution, binder addition rate and quantity, mixing time and speed, granule moisture content, inlet and outlet air temperature, compression force, spray rate and environmental conditions. What are the important CQAs in tablet manufacturing process? The important CQAs in tablet manufacturing process are appearance, weight uniformity, content uniformity, hardness, thickness, friability, disintegration time, dissolution profile, stability and microbial limits. What are the important CPPs in injectable manufacturing process? The important CPPs in injectable manufacturing process are temperature control, mixing speed, filling speed and volume, sterilization conditions, flow rate during filtration, container closure integrity and pH control. What are the important CQAs in injectable manufacturing process? CQAs in injectable processing includes sterility, pyrogenicity, particulate matter, pH level, viscosity, drug concentration, container closure integrity, appearance and stability. How do you perform process validation for CPPs? Process validation involves confirming that the manufacturing process consistently produces a product meeting CQAs through repeated production runs. Reference FDS process validation guidelines. How do you handle changes in CPPs during commercial production? Changes in CPPs require a thorough evaluation and revalidation to ensure they do not negatively affect the CQAs or product quality. Reference ICHQ10. 
How does risk assessment contribute to controlling CPPs and CQAs? Risk assessments identify potential process variations and their impact on CQAs, helping prioritize the control of critical parameters. Reference ICHQ9. What is process analytical technology that is PAT and how does it help to control CPPs and CQAs? PAT is a system for real time monitoring and control of process parameters, ensuring that CPPs are maintained within their optimal range to meet CQAs. Reference PDS PAT guidelines. Very important question What is the significance of design space in pharmaceutical manufacturing? Design space refers to the range of process parameters where the product consistently meets CQAs, allowing flexibility within these ranges. Reference ICHQ 8 R2. Very important question Which guidelines are commonly referred for CQA and CPP in pharmaceutical industry? ICHQ 8 R2 Pharmaceutical Development, ICHQ 9 Quality Risk Management, ICHQ 10 Pharmaceutical Quality System. ICHQ7 Good Manufacturing Practice for Active Pharmaceutical Ingredients and FDS Process Validation Guidelines are the guidelines that are commonly referred for CQA and CPP in pharmaceutical industry. Don't forget to like, comment and share. Subscribe to channel for more videos related to our pharmaceutical industry.